Hey everybody, hi. Um, we are gonna do something really fun. This should be a big treat today. Uh, let me see if I have my controllers correctly. Okay, well I can share to a group. I'm gonna share just a moment. Um, oh my goodness, it's, I can share it. I don't even have to type it in. Okay, all right, all right. So um, thank you Facebook for making that so easy. So here is our deluxe cookie blender. And I'm going to be really honest, I have not used it, but to make peanut butter, and I love making peanut butter with it. Tonight, I'm going to see, can you make ice cream with the cooking blender? Uh, I have a friend who's thinking about purchasing this, and she wanted to know, can you make ice cream? So we looked up a um, recipe on Vitamix, because we were like, does, does that blender make ice cream? And I took the recipe off that. And I'm gonna use my little directions that come with the blender. And they have this recipe here for nice cream. I don't know if you can see it. And so it's kind of like ice cream. And I'm gonna use the ingredients from what I got online and use the directions here. And we're gonna see how well it turns out. I think it'll turn out well, but I'm worried about the way I cook it. So on the website, it said, the ingredient said to uh, put it in one way and in, in these instructions it says the opposite, like has the fruit first and stir the fruit last. So I have frozen strawberries and I hope they fit. I never checked. I rinsed them. I don't even know if that will work, if I should chop it up. Um, let's see, I, let me get my mix and chop. I picked, I picked the strawberries this summer. I don't know, do I have to do this? I, I, it seems like I wouldn't have to with the, um, the blender. And then I already have everything out. I don't know if you can see it down here. And I'm just going to put it in. Hopefully, I, I, well, if I do it opposite backwards order, I would put the sugar in. It costs her a third a cup of sugar, two and a quarter cups of frozen strawberries. I put a little less sugar than... I called for because I think it'll be sweet enough with these sweet strawberries that I got from House Farm this summer. And uh, half a cup of heavy whipping cream and a half a cup of milk. And I couldn't believe that I had all those ingredients in my house. And then it calls for a quarter teaspoon of vanilla paste. And do you guys know what vanilla paste is? I don't, vanilla bean paste. I don't have that. So I put a uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's it. <laughs> I'm nervous, can you tell? I have no idea. Um, like, I'm not even sure how to t put this lid on correctly. <laughs> so, because I use it so much. It's a great blender. Uh, it really compares to what's out on the market and it's, it's less expensive than your high-end uh, blenders. And then I'm just gonna read. So, are you guys saying anything? I see a lot of you guys are, are um, watching. I love these measuring cups too. I was going to showcase those. Uh, the kids' uh, measuring cups, they all fit on top of these nest. They're some of my favorite anyways. They nest inside each other in this three cupper. Anyways, I don't even know if you can see that. So, it says, add all the ingredients to the pitcher in order left to right. So, I did that. Replace and lock the lid, we did that. And press the wheel to start at the custom blend. Okay, it's already there. <laughs> Hopefully that's correct. And blend on speed three for one minute, and that's it, and use the tamper. So you guys might need to help me. Marianne, you might need to help me. So I'm supposed to do it on three. I don't know, one, that's minutes, right? Two. Three? No, I'm probably doing this wrong. Um, that says grind. You guys, my face is turning red. <laughs> uh, setting on blend. Oh, okay, so I have to set the setting on blend. Uh, there's so many settings here. That's the heated wash, the soup, the heated puree, the jam, the sauce. I definitely don't want it unheated. So how do I switch it to, um, if it's on custom blend, Marianne, if it's on custom blend, how do I make it go to setting three? Maybe I should have looked up my, on here, <laughs> on the real instructions. So 
So, all right, we're not doing anything right now. Setting blend on speed three for one minute. Let me see on these other instructions. I guess I should have read the whole instructions. I thought I did. And I thought, oh, that looks really simple. Set it on speed three. Um, heated, non-heated settings. Precept. Smoothie is a preset for one minute. I wonder if I could just do that. It probably won't turn out. How do you do... Um, Electric hazard, should we look at that? Warning parts, uh, blender status, nine. How to use custom settings, we'll go there. You can't, you can't see it? It's kind of, it's on a black surface. Like my um, cooktop is, is dark. Can you see it now? I think you can see it, is that better? Hopefully that's better, I'll put it on my light counter. So pages, now I forgot my page number, 11 and 12. Uh, use the custom settings. See, I'm gonna get really good at this, you guys. Um, use the pulse button to begin blending right away. The LED displayed will show the blend speed one through nine. Okay, so the pulse, okay, it's gonna start blending right away. It's seven. <laughs> Oh, that's on seven, eight. Oh, there we go. Um, three. We're on three. So then I can push start. Um, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I have to open this and use the tamper, but it looks like everything's already blended. instructions on the internet to eat right away so this lifts right off and let's see if you guys can see this let's see well it's it's kind of good right if I used a little less oh my goodness it made a lot like I can't eat all this ice cream by myself okay it looks really yummy um I've got these cool uh spoon straws so I could slurp it up it looks amazing and I didn't I don't think I did it for a minute. But anyways, that's the blender. And look look at all that you have in here. And then when you get it all out, uh, you could put three cups of water in here and two drops or one drop of dish soap. And there's a custom setting here to wash. So this is an amazing blender. Um, I would use a little less liquid to make this into ice cream. But if you put it in the freezer, it would freeze right up, right? I can't wait to try it. So it does look good. Um, all right, so I have this really cool opportunity how to get this whole cooking blender this, this month. So this month is January, in case you're watching this at a different time, because I will be posting it. I've made a mess. And um, for January, if... If you order this from me, when you spend $100 or you get orders for me for $100, you get $43 in free stuff. And so this at retail is $349, I believe. Three, yeah, $349. So that means you get $129, so $130 in free product. 
when you purchase this at retail price from me. You have to order through me to get it, and then you get another $129 that you could spend on anything. You could get a pan, you could get one of our rock crocs. Um, so what a deal that is, and it's only good until February 15th is the last day that I can do that. Also, for January till January 31st, uh, you could get this cooking blender plus $150 dollars with the other products and I'll post that in the comments when I put this on live and you can get it for $129 and you start your business and you join my team this month in January so you can get the cooking blender for $129 and it comes with uh, our cutting mats and anyways the total value of everything you get for $129 is $500 and you just try out Pampered Chef for the month uh, see how you like it and see where you go and I even will throw your first party for you. So how cool would that be? And you get you would you would make the money that you invested in joining Pamper Chef back with your first parties. Or you could purchase it at retail and get 129 more, 130 more to um, spend on yourself or for others. It would be a great gift for a wedding gift. It would be a great gift for your kitchen. It would be a great gift for your kids if they're moving out. So, because this is a heated blender, it will make soup, you can make jam, and my favorite, you can make peanut butter out of peanuts. Anyway, so if you guys have any questions, just just message me. And yeah, you can make you can make ice cream. Uh, this recipe in here is called nice cream. So, but you get lots of recipes with this. So, all right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Bye bye.